now your, your new book coming out this month, Super Genes, Unlock the Astonishing Power of Your DNA for Optimum Health and Well-Being. It's coming out this November. What's one thing that you could tell me that's in the book that I can start today to help change my biological destiny? The one thing would be meditation. We have uh, shown, along with other scientists, that uh, just the daily practice of meditation increases the level of an enzyme called telomerase that regulates your biological age. So you can just by doing that change how you age at the level of your genetics. That's the one thing you can do, but there are many more things in the book. I do have a meditation practice. I do. I live by it. Um, uh, one of my favorite quotes of yours is, aging is simply learned behavior. I love that. We yeah. age in the way we learn from others. If people around you are aging in an accelerated way, then because, again, your relationships reflect your own stage of consciousness, mm -hmm you will age the way they do. On the other hand, if you have examples of people who not only age in a way that could be called graceful, but also glamorous, and people who can, in fact, reverse the biological markers of aging, as we show in the book, then you will learn to age in a different way. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. Um, and another interesting thing um, to see is how the Chopra Foundation combines consciousness with science and the synthesis, synthesis of science and the soul, as you call it, right? Can you share any recent research breakthroughs or projects that you're working on now? The most that? important projects at the Chopra Foundation are on epigenetics, which is how the environment influences the expression of our genes but also now we're looking at the microbiome, mm. which is 90% of the cells in your body. And actually 150 times more DNA content comes in your body is from uh, bacteria. So for every, uh, say, uh, 23,000 genes that we have in our body, which is the human genome, there are 3.3 million bacterial genes. The bacterial genes outnumber human genes by a ratio of 150 to 1. So these are everywhere in, in your skin, in your gut, in your colon, in all the orifices of your body. And they respond to things like sleep, meditation, breathing, yoga, exercise, <coughs> emotions and food. By paying attention to these different components of our daily experience, we can actually help the bacterial genes regulate the human genes. This is an amazing uh, research which is combining genetics with epigenetics with the microbiome. But how, 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 how can you study those genes while, while we're sleeping? How, do, how do, you, do you hook somebody up to a you take a um, sample of the saliva, saliva or the tears, and you can do that. So and while someone's also, sleeping, yeah, sure. yeah. you can do brain waves, lots of things. Right. And you can correlate that with inflammatory markers and many other things. So much And also, done. the effects of sleep uh, can be measured even after the sleep. When a person wakes up? Yeah. How? Do, how? Well, when you have a good night's sleep, don't you feel refreshed? Mm. So okay. there must be some biological correlate of that.